Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. I am sick AF as fuck. Got a cold. All that stress this weekend is kicking my butt. But I'm going to talk about in this video what I'm going to do moving forward. How I'm going to approach my training program moving towards my next meet at the UPA Nationals. How I'm going to structure my workout. How I'm going to try to approach the weight loss because I want to compete at 242 pounds. So here's what's happening. <clears throat> my next meet, hopefully is the UPA Nationals in Dubuque, Iowa in April. It's been three years since I competed at UPA, and I want to return eventually. I want to bring my weight down to 242 pounds, compete in the 242 class. That's just a healthier weight for me to compete at at my age as I approach the age of 49 and then 50. But I'm not going to try to get down to 242 pounds by April. I'm going to try to lose maybe 10 to 15 pounds. I want to get around 250 pounds by the end of the year and then spend from January 1st to April peaking, bringing up my strength, etc. So while I'm losing weight for the rest of the year, basically the next six weeks, I'm going to focus on not doing any heavy training. And by that, I mean nothing that is under five rep sets. I'm probably going to switch to five days a week. I'm going to do two squat workouts, two bench type workouts, and a middle day, which is going to be a deadlift and back type day. So it's going to be squats and legs, bench and arms, bench shoulders and arms, um, we're going to have deadlift, and then we're going to have squats, and we're going to have bench again. Or excuse me, we're going to have, we're going to have deadlift in the middle, so we're going to have squats and bench, and uh, we're going to have a deadlift day, rest, squats, bench, rest, etc. So I'm going to look at training five days a week. I'm going to do three by fives on the squat days. I'm going to do two days of three by fives. And on the deadlift days, I'm going to do only rack pulls, maybe triples. I know I know, I said I'm not going to do any heavy work, but I don't like to do over three reps on rack pulls, so I'm going to stick with about triples on that. And on bench press, I'm probably going to stick with like a 5x5 five five or a 3x5 five on each program. After the main lifts, I'm only going to do two sets for each assistance exercise. There, this... I'm doing this for a couple reasons. Number one, I don't want to overwork myself while I'm cutting. And number two, I want to allow my body to heal a little bit by not overworking the volume as I approach January and start to peak. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Three by fives on squats and benches with a reasonable weight, still trying to progress when I can. Maybe a three by three on rack pulls on deadlift days. Two sets per assistance exercise. I'm going to try to heal up. I'm going to try to be ready to go come January 1st so I can approach my peak. And once I get there, I'm going to do what I normally do and train heavy. Train my bench heavy, train my squats heavy, and see what happens. The goals at the next meet are a 700-pound deadlift, which I've never hit on the platform, a 400-pound bench, which I've never hit in my life at any weight, and a 600-pound squat. That would give me a 1,300-pound total, potentially at 242. If I can get to 250 and maintain that, I'll try to cut for the meet and come in and compete at 242. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, hit up my Q&A link below. I, post, I answer every question posted. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. And if you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. Check out the links below to my post-workout drink, Huge Gainer. It's, it's uh, set up to be perfect for a post-workout with 24 grams of protein, 3 to 1 carb to protein ratio, etc. And check out my book, Massive Arm. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.